Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Y'all remember this box right here uh, when I built this thing. And this has got the inverter and the box in it. And we're here, if I can't blind you with this sun, at the house they're going to renovate. And this is going to be their power while the construction manager is living up here. <laughs> we got a 44 Magnum sine inverter. And this is a pure sine wave 220 split bolt, split phase electric. So we got 120, 120 coming out of it uh, to run a deep well pump, anything else. We've got it wired in to a breaker panel. We got the main breaker, the RV outlet, and three outlets for the system here, and three receptacles right there. 40 amp charge controller. Now that's, like I said, it came with what we took out of that house, and that's an MPPT. It's nothing fancy, but it works just fine. And the beginning of the battery bank all set up. And then on this side, we have the RV outlet for their camping trailer. And we have a plug right here because this inverter will allow a generator to input into it as well. If the batteries go down, you can plug the generator in to help charge the batteries or run off of it. Here are the four solar panels on the rack that the man had built on his house. These are four 150 watt monocrystalline panels. And whereas this isn't a really big system, you also have to remember they're only going to be here on weekends working. So once they build that battery bank up and fill the bottom of that tote up, it's really got all week to charge up, even with that MPPT charge controller, it's got all week to charge up just for a good, long, hard weekend of using it. And of course, they'll feed also with the generator using all the construction saws and everything there. I doubt if this solar set would be enough to run completely off of, but at least they can run part of the day on it and then run the camper at night without the generator running all night long. And that's the whole goal. And then we're going to upgrade everything. Like I said, take it out of the tote, put it down in the basement when the house is done, and it'll become an intricate part of the off-grid uh, house they're setting up here. And it'll be a good uh, source of power for grid down and storm and power outages. They're in a pretty snowy area here. So long-term plan, that's what it is. It's to be used as temporary power now. And permanent power later on when everything kind of gets done and finished and they stop uh, trying to live up here for a while. And of course the whole use for this thing is the county won't give them electricity because the power has been turned off on the place for a while. And now since they've gutted the inside out, we're going to pretty much tear from here this whole side of the house off. The whole roof's coming off. They're going to go up from there. And this little system will at least give them enough to run their camping trailer they're moving in this week to live in and have power without running the generator all night while the house is being renovated, while they're going to go ahead and work on the cabin. So that's what this whole thing really started out as. Well, that's pretty much the end of this video. I promise you, when sooner or later we'd get up here, it was a month or two longer than I thought it'd be before they got back and got ready to work on the place. But, um... I wanted to show you this thing and what it was going to be used for. Like I said, it first of all, it was, I think, $25 for the tote because they weren't food grade anymore, what, what was in it. So you can't really build a shed with today's lumber price or anything for $25. It is waterproof. It'll look like a water tank, and a lot of people in this area use spring water. So a lot of people just driving by may think it's just a water tank. So it's kind of hidden in plain sight, hopefully. And like I said, uh, now the, how, the roof on the house is going to come off and everything, so there'll be no dry storage in the basement or anywhere else. It'll be in the way trying to pour concrete floors and in the basement and do everything. So this, I think, was the best option. Put it in this tote, set it up for right now, and kind of the only thing that gives the whole thing away is a solar panel sitting out in the yard, but I guess you can't help that. But if I can ever be any help to you, help you design, do, build, or do it for you, 
My email address and everything's right here at the bottom. Contact me here at Carolina Homestead Planner and be glad to help you. And as usual, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. We're going to hit 3,000 here, hopefully by the first of the year. It'd be a nice Christmas gift. Thank you for watching.